This is what we got to focus on. NukeTheFridge.com here. We're in one of the premieres at the Vista for Sick Girl. We got the director, Evan McGarren. And as you can see, as you can see he's not even paying attention to us. He's just like looking at us. Mommy and me. That's my movie. So, Evan, what's up, man? Are you excited for the premiere? Uh, this isn't the premiere, but I'm excited. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. You're but at it, the premiere. But it's one of the awesome, awesome theaters here at the Vista, right? Vista is a very cool theater. So, how does it feel to have it in there, though? Woohoo! Awesome? Yeah. So we're looking at this poster, if you could focus in on it. And there's a, a semi picture. These are posters fucked up. See so, you know, the little rips and the holes and the. Awesome. Tape. No, they love tape on it. I like that too. So we got a Texas Chainsaw Massacre influence in here? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, so uh, are there any spoilers in your poster? I don't think so. No. I mean, tell me. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so this, is, this isn't an official poster. This was a limited edition we did uh, for the premiere in LA. And then we uh, we had some some minis made up, and uh, they were distributed at the, uh, the premiere. So I, you know, it, it's it's a cool thing what you're doing here. You're doing kind of like an independent film. Obviously, you're trying to get a distributor for it. Right. And uh, there's a lot of people always bitching on the internet that oh, we want to support the small films and stuff like that. Well, here's a chance if you guys you know have a chance to see Sick Girl anywhere. I, I understand it's going to be in London. Yeah. We're at. Um, we're going to have to like. Take a break while we I are. <laughs> That's great right there. So there, there you go. Let's do it on the fly. And, and don't, don't cut because this is how you'll see me walk around town no matter what. Okay, these are the accessories. Reasonable and practical shoes. They're comfortable to walk. Cargo pants. Or you, you, you know, it's basically like the contemporary utility belt for geeks. Okay? And then, uh, you know, pop culture shirt to identify with other fanboys. But what, 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 what not many people rock, and I think, I'm, I'm hoping to make mainstream, is a sweat towel. You know, it's kind of like the, the Rocky Balboa thing, because I'm a sweaty, sweaty fuck. Um, unless you keep the temperature wherever I am, like, I don't know, 50, I'm going to respire. Which is awkward, because now everyone wants to hug hello and do the whole, like, like, hey, what's up, bro, what's up, do this number? And then, like, you risk leaving that slime. So, yeah, you know, it may look weird, but I recommend if you know you're a sweaty bastard, embrace the towel. <laughs> you know, it's uh, the right thing to do. I'm sorry, sorry you were saying? Sweaty bastards in the house. Yeah, sweaty bastards. Awesome, dude. Uh, so you keep it real, man. It's good to see you. Everyone's a little guy. Now, uh, tell us about your experience making this film. It was cool. It was very cool. Um, we set out to do a, uh, you know, uh, just just an honest film. It was we, you know, we wrote the script. We said, well, we I wrote the script. I said, this is what I want to do. I tried to keep locations down. Just it was written to be shot low budget. And that's what it is. It's you know, it's just a old school indie style. We shot it in ten days, and uh, I mean, it was talk about down and dirty. I mean, it's crazy. And, and there's a lot of guys that you know are trying to get their film out and stuff. And uh, what kind of obstacles? Like, what's the if you want to give some guys some advice out there that haven't done their first indie film, what's the biggest obstacle you face? Um, everyone's gonna tell you uh, what you need to do, but most of the people giving you the advice haven't done anything. Right. You know, they'll they'll, they'll, they'll sit in the sidelines, and you know, everyone, you know, they're like, you know, salacious chrome chime in, <laughs> tell them what to do, and it almost feels like you know. So many people look at the movie industry just like you know business first. Of course, you got to make money or else right. you know uh, you know can't sustain the industry. But it's more important for a lot of people to just follow this homogenized uh, formula. You know, uh, you know they, they start with like you know your your three act structure. You have to make sure you have a certain amount of TNA to make it marketable and stay away from these themes. And that's why you have so you know this like PG thirteen horror. Uh, I mean it's it, you know if you look at horror movies today, it's PG thirteen or it's a remake. Okay, and then everyone talks about how I hate PG-13 horror. You know, I hate remakes, but they're showing up. You know, uh, they, they exactly. Pop. Well, that's another thing. That's another point I wanted to make here at NukeTheFridge.com is that, like I said earlier, people are bitching about how like there's no originality in horror. We had uh, my friend Jason, who also is a, uh, writes articles on NukeTheFridge, I wrote an article about originality in horror. There's still some. It's here with Sick Girl. So you know, I recommend everybody to come and support the film. You know, you gotta, you gotta do, you gotta do. You man, there comes a time where you can talk all the shit, but are you gonna walk the walk? You know. And for the purpose of full disclosure, whereas I absolutely appreciate your support, purpose full disclosure, we have to let your viewers know that you worked on the film. You are. I did work on yes, the film. You, yes. You know what, what people don't realize is you're a dangerous motherfucker. <laughs> And, uh, you He's know, talking about me, Lewis. Yes, 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 yes. Lewis, like a, a dangerous motherfucker. He clowns. Watch this. 
I'm gonna show you my jab, right? See it? That's how fast it is. I felt it. I stole that from Muhammad Ali, actually. It's not original. If, if you were behind me, you would have felt the breeze of the back. <laughs> I, I did have something to do with the film. I actually trained Leslie, who is the main actress in the film. I mean, she plays Izzy. I trained her to get more confidence. Uh, did some kickboxing, boxing with her. I actually enjoyed the movie, but don't take my word for it. You may think it sucked. You may think it's good. I'm not gonna tell you. I, I like the films. And I actually don't like my own stuff. So and the main thing is whether you think it sucks or you liked it, it's yeah. important to make sure you either like you either like it or you think it's yeah. right. Don't follow the bandwagons, you know. I don't much rather have someone come up and say your film sucked and here's why than to follow like, oh. Exactly. You know, Keeping it real. You know, because that's what happens when you have these filmmakers who I mean, they, they deliver gold and then you know their fans just wanna just support them and they just you know, honesty is lost somewhere in the equation. They start to turn out crap. Won't mention names.